Getting close to 840. Now, CBD oil seems to be everywhere. Products flooded the market after the 2018 Farm Bill removed hemp and its derivatives as controlled substances. Susan Shapiro looked at how it's being used and if it's safe. It's a soft gel. CBD is now on shelves at pharmacies, specialty stores, and a lot of other places. Retired Baltimore cop Steve Tilson sells liquid for under the tongue, topicals, and other products. 10 milligrams might be enough. He opened the store after using CBD for his back pain and giving it to his 12-year-old Great Dane Molly. We gave it to her, and she started running around like she was a puppy again, you know, and I was like, wow. You can't put your finger on why you feel better, you just feel better. CBD, or cannabidiol, is an extract of hemp. The cannabis plant does not contain THC, the ingredient that causes a high. It's being touted for everything from pain and inflammation to anxiety. It really didn't feel like it did anything other than it. I could just be myself and just relax. The FDA does not regulate CBD oil. It has issued some guidance on it. The makers of the oil are not permitted to label it for medicinal purposes. But many products do have labels with health-related claims. It is the Wild West in a sense. Ken Verana is a pharmacologist at Penn State College of Medicine. He says there's evidence CBD may be beneficial for pain and inflammation, but it has not been tested in a controlled trial and could be risky. It is drug-like, and so if we're not careful and you're taking other medications, for instance, it might either interfere or enhance their effects. It's called CBD pain salve. Deb Lintner is convinced the salve she buys at Save Mart works. I use it on my back because I have back pain. It's mainly arthritis, but it does help. There's no recommended dose for CBD oil. It's trial and error. We start with small amounts and work our way up till we find our level. The products run anywhere from 20 bucks to several hundred dollars, but you may not know exactly what you're getting for that price. All right, so the FDA will hold a hearing at the end of the month. They want to give people the chance to share their experience with CBD products and whether they should be further regulated. The FDA has issued warning letters to three companies for making unsubstantiated medical claims about CBD.